muslima.com now muslima.com is a dating site pretty much just a religious one uh, supposedly religious one muslima.com was pretty much highlighted to me by a fellow MGTOW he wasn't MGTOW at the time about three maybe four years ago he pretty much said to me look you know I just want to go on this site and you know see if this girl's okay I want your opinion what do you think about this chick so like he's showed me he's logged onto this website showed me this this chick and like oh, I honestly started laughing not only at her but all these other chicks the reason why I started laughing is because you could see right through them you could read right through them I was still in my relationship at the time I wasn't a MGTOW myself but I at least was able to see that they were very far from what they were trying to describe themselves as. However, in saying that, the eyes that I had back then are different than the eyes that I have now. What I've done here is I've, I've pretty much brought up one example, and I'll show you guys more examples in the future. But here we have a female who goes by the name Crystal. She's 33, obviously single. She's from Columbia, Missouri, the United States. And she's seeking a male who's between the ages of 29 and 41 for marriage. Now, her education is a bachelor's degree. She hasn't got children. Now, how old is she? She's 33, but she hasn't got kids. So her biological clock is ticking. This is something that would have never crossed my mind a couple of years ago. To understand that urge a female has when she's starting to pretty much feel like it's necessary to give birth to children to pass on her DNA or her genetics into this world. When one looks a little bit further, a little bit deeper into this character's information, the, the depth of lies becomes intriguing. And I, what I'll do is I'll show you one thing first of all before I get into the rest of it. It's a safety tip here at the bottom of the page don't send money to see someone on a webcam. Now, when you read that, some dishonest individuals may ask you to send them money or provide credit card details so you can see a webcam show, blah, 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 blah. Now, I think only the MGTOW guys will understand this because we've been getting a lot of people that have, who have been trying to do the explaining for MGTOW men who don't even understand what going your own way actually means. What I'm trying to say is, some dishonest individuals may ask you to send them money. This here is an example of a dishonest individual. This person that goes by the name of Crystal. I live in Colombia. I've been to several colleges and I'm, se I'm still seeking my bachelor's degree. I actually want to pursue Islamic knowledge. I'm pretty and not very sophisticated, more down to earth. I love to cook. If you see something you may like to have, I will attempt the recipe. I love dot 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 read more. She's pretty in, in, in her eyes, really. Um, but who is she trying to appeal to, to other men or to herself? You see this image, this female's got blonde hair, she's got lipstick. I've taken the eyes out. I don't want to reveal this person's identity completely. I don't want to do something that's unlawful. Here, when you look into how, how much she weighs, she actually weighs a lot more than what you would think. She pretty much weighs 100 kilos. She weighs 96 kilograms. Then you go to the, the, the hobbies and stuff that she likes to do. At the bottom of this page, entertainment, food and music, going straight to sport, biking, bowling, cycling, golf, hiking, horse riding, jet water skiing, pool, billiards, scuba diving, snorkeling, swimming, table tennis, tennis, badminton, walking, yeah right. <laughs> and she weighs 96 kilos, I mean, nah, nah. Now. I like to ask, why do these females all of a sudden, uh, she's a revert, apparently according to herself, I've read here somewhere, she's a revert, 
and at the top of this page you'll read convert muslima looking for my half din what that means right there is that she has become a muslim and she's looking for her other half other half being the male here what, what this necessitates though she's looking for her half din now when you look at that in reverse and apply that to a male this is shaming language when you apply that to a male because when it is applied to, to men and I've had it applied to me in the past they actually use it and they shame you oh you know how can you be a Muslim how can you this how can you what are you talking about man I want to be I want to be single what's it to do with you this is my life I want to live my life my way I don't want any headaches I understand the law I know how it works I understand female nature I know what hypergamy is and bright false law do you yeah, but you know what? God says this, God says that. And then when you ask them for the sources, they actually don't even know where the sources are. And then you ask them, can you please find me these sources? They won't even get back to you. So in order for you to be a Muslim, apparently, according to these people, a man has to get married. So this female here is a, apparently a convert Muslim looking for her half thing. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. My opinion is, this female here has pretty much stayed in her career too long. Pretty much 33 years. She's, she's 33 years old and that's according to her. That's if, if she's telling the truth. She stayed in her career for too long, probably influenced by feminism. She's probably a feminist. I don't understand what she's doing here on muslima.com. Doesn't she have any friends that, that can hook her up with males or have all, all males run away. I mean, I know that men have walked off the plantation and a lot more than what the media and even females in general would, would like to pretty much reveal to us. The specific point that I'm about to raise to you here is shocking. Well, in my opinion, it's shocking anyway. The male must be financially stable to live on own. I want to go back to school. So he must be willing to support this. Reads Quran and tries to pray often. Willing to perhaps live in my city. Overall, he needs to be open-minded and tries not to judge. How bloody pathetic. What's she doing here? On muslima.com, she's looking for a simp. The perfect place to find simps. Must be financially stable to live. So she wants to leech. She wants to go back to school. She pretty much doesn't want to work. She wants to be pampered, pedestalized, looked after in a princess-like fashion. He must be willing to support this. So he has to bust his balls and make sure that he supports her lifestyle. He has to read Quran and try to pray often. So he, he needs to you know, bow down and you do the motions and make sure that he's not looking right nor looking left. Just make sure he is steadfast and pretty much indirectly worshipping her. He has to also be willing to live in her city. Can you, want, can, you, can, you, can you believe the nerve? Look at the nerve, the audacity that these females have. Overall, he needs to be an open-minded. He needs to be open-minded. This is not open-minded. He needs to be a drone, a robot, a sucker, and try not to judge. This is the first one. Um, guys, soon when I've got some spare time, I'll even show you guys another one. They get, they just get worse. They just get worse. They're, these females that are, uh, these females, they're all over the world, man. Every culture. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Stay safe. Stay MGTOW, stay single. Talk soon. Bye.